Hi everybody, I'm Josh Stone, CEO of Book Token. I'm here today with the team. I've got Ben and RJ and Bob. Quickly about us, we previously started a ebook company. Um, we worked with really big companies like Google, IBM, Microsoft. We worked with all the largest publishers in the world, had millions of books, and uh, when we exited the company, we had over six million users. Um, our largest day, just as an example, we put over 100,000 new users on, uh, on our platform before launch. So we have a lot of experience in the ebook uh, realm. And uh, we're here today to talk about uh, the launch of our new platform, uh, Book Token, and our first NF NFT drop coming up. So why are we here? Why the Book Token project? So we believe fundamentally that you should own the things uh, that, that you purchase. Right now, if you purchase an ebook or an audiobook, you don't actually buy or own that, that object. It's just a license to view it. So a publisher, a retailer, an author can literally take that right off of your bookshelf. With uh, Web3 technology, uh, specifically with Cardano, we're now able to build that as a digital object, completely decentralized uh, and encrypted books uh, as NFTs, not just uh, images or book covers, and allow you to truly own your book. So the book, ebook, audiobook industry is way bigger uh, than crypto is currently. Um, in the next year, over a billion people will buy uh, an ebook or an audiobook, and we want them to purchase through us and own those books on the Cardano platform. All right, guys, we're super excited to show this today. Real quickly, though, we just wanted to show you our roadmap and where we're at and on our path to decentralization, much, much like Cardano. We stole a page out of their playbook and, you know, we've kind of outlined all the way to governance in a similar way they have. Right now, we're gonna be releasing our MVP. This is a fully decentralized book towards full decentralization at a future point. All right, guys, before we jump in and take a look at some code and a, and a demo, I wanted to talk about high level what we'll be looking at. So what we're terming this is a decentralized encrypted asset. So this right here is, is what we are releasing, which is a fully encrypted digital book stored only on the blockchain. It's database free. So when you purchase a NFT book, you own that book, you can do whatever you want with that book. That is step one of our roadmap of building towards full decentralization. Then you have our, our reader, which will uh, decrypt this, reassemble it so that you can view the book and look at images, video, text, audio, Everything is viewable, but the construct is we have to do this portion first, which is what we're releasing as MVP as we're building out the, sec the secondary portion. All right, guys, finally, this is the exciting part, the actual demo. So here we go. So this is our application um, for our reader or our bookshelf, and it works with any uh, SIP30 wallet. So in this instance, we're going to be using NAMI wallet, and we can see in our NAMI extension here, that we have some assets, we've got some collectibles in here, and there's some books and an image. There's a Frankenstein book. So we're gonna jump back here, we're gonna connect our wallet and connect to NAMI. So it's gonna ask for approval, we say yeah. And then what it's done is it's looking at our NAMI wallet and it's filtering out anything that's not a book. So now we're looking at uh, the books that we have, our book uh, NFTs here. And before we jump in and look at uh, reading and sending, we're gonna kind of take a look um, un underneath the hood of one of these books. So in this particular instance, we'll look at Frankenstein. We can see here we've got Frankenstein out on testnet. Everything's on testnet because we're gonna be launching this publicly. Um, in a week or so here, we'll announce what the first book is. And uh, so if we jump down here into the metadata, we can look at what's actually inside of this NFT, right? So this is all that's in here. This is not linking to uh, uh, just a book cover it's this data line here on IPFS, so we're going to copy that just to go out to IPFS to show everybody what's out there. So if they set in here, it's going to download the file that's out there, and then we'll pull that up. And you can see inside of here that it is not uh, the contents of the book. It's not pointing to a PDF. It is an encrypted file that points to a whole bunch of other encrypted files, a big manifest that has all the assets of the book. It's completely decentralized. There's no database behind this that we're controlling any of the assets of the book. It is all decentralized. So we'll jump back to um, our app here. And, um, okay, there we go. So we'll, uh, we'll jump into the reader to read a book. Um, so here's a book cover. This image, everything inside of here, this is what's so revolutionary. Everything that you're gonna see 
inside this book, when you start clicking through it, it's completely decentralized. All of this is out, uh, out of our hands. It's all been uploaded, all these inline images, everything. And so before we get a bunch of negative feedback about how terrible the, the actual book reader is, just understand this is our MVP. This is V1. We've, like we said, like I said earlier, we've built another book company uh, with mobile apps. We had better uh, store ratings than Amazon did actually. We know how to build a fantastic reader, but this is MVP, the guts of, of how it works. So um, let's jump back to the bookshelf then. So the really awesome part, right, is that these are NFTs. And since you truly own them, now we can actually send them. So Arjun's gonna pull us up and send it. I'm gonna actually grab my laptop here. Um, so here is my um, my bookshelf. I have nothing on it. Um, RJ's going to paste in my wallet address. He's gonna send, and we're all gonna see how fast uh, testnet is today. And um, let's see. RJ's gonna try not to show his password. And shortly here, hopefully, let's see. I probably should refresh my page too. Bam, I have Frankenstein, and yeah. Yeah, so sitting there, yeah. Now it's no longer on his, and it is on mine. So I have the book now, I can click on it, I can read the book. I have, I have the book, and RJ doesn't. So the implication here is massive, because basically, what this allows us to do with with books, with video, with audio, is to truly create these decentralized encrypted assets that could expand, you know, far beyond books. But you know, books is definitely where we're started, and what you know, this whole thing is kind of built around. Um, so super excited to be launching this. Super excited to have you guys involved with us. Okay, one more thing um, that I forgot to mention is that this is completely it's browser based, obviously decentralized open reader. So anybody can connect to this. Um, we want this, uh, we're gonna put this in an SDK. We want everybody in the community who wants to be able to access books um, to take this, to build all kinds of cool stuff on it. Um, and if we flip back to the roadmap real quick, um, you know, this that's the first step here in our, in our roadmap, right, is, is creating those decentralized assets towards this, you know, governance side and, you know, fully autonomous key reader and this, you know, just like Cardano, this is our path of, of decentralization, how we're gonna get there. Just super excited to um, be on this journey with you guys. We wanna go out, we wanna see a huge percentage of that 1.1 billion people that are gonna buy an ebook or an audio book. You know, we'd love to see 10% of that come here and have to onboard 100 million people into Cardano via books. And we think that's possible. I'm super excited to have you guys along for the journey. Thanks.